is down. So I think this one could be our problem. Looks like it's got loads of water in it. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, today we're looking at a outside garden um, lighting and power. You know, they've got a barbecue area, swimming pool, um, water fountains, lights, sockets, all around the garden. It's a beautiful, beautiful garden. Um, they've got some tripping issues with the RCD in the house. They've got a split load board inside the house and when it rains and things like that it trips. So there is, as you normally have in a garden, you have a million joints, um, joints in here. So you've got you've got one there, you've got one here, um, you've got one over there, but they've got double sockets. I don't know if you can see them, but they've got about five or six double sockets around here that are just sitting on the on the bark, not even fixed or anything. So we're just taking taking everything. Oh, whisker box there. Um, we're taking everything apart at the moment, um, but the issues are bigger than just that. Because of the swimming pool, which is here, they've got like a pump house below. So you've got two accesses here. And what you'll see in a minute is me trying to get in here. Um, basically there was a fuse board on the wall just here. There's a fuse board here, I've stripped it all out. It's a bit dark, you can't see us now, but loads of armoured. Um, and as normal, you'd expect um, no one sheathing, uh, earthing the sheath of the armoured. They've also brought the earth out from the house. I need to see what system type it is, um, whether it's a TNCS um, or a TNS system. But judging by the, the age around here, I reckon it's going to be a TNCS. So they've brought the earth from the house straight into the fuse board here and still put an earth rod in the ground and connected that as well. Sort of defeats the object of putting a rod in really so what we're going to do is um, I've stripped out the fuse board what he wants to do the consumer unit sorry um, because trying to get in here you have to go around up there up on the shelf up there around in. I've done it it's not a nice uh, nice experience so we're moving <laughs> <laughs> Should have sent you in here, Jack. You're loving it. Yeah, sort of. We're moving the, the consumer unit outside here on the wall. A couple of timed sockets there. So I bought a, it is, a, it is an IP rated, it's actually a whisker consumer unit. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I've put, got a metal Sorel box as well. They wanted a bit of extra protection with uh, water ingress. So I've got one of these. I'm gonna see if he actually needs this in here and use one timer. You can put a little two-way adapter on it or something because you've got two plugs. So I'm just going to see if we can get rid of that one. I'm going to drill probably a 40 mil hole, 50 mil hole in the bottom of this board through the back of this unit. I'm going to put some of this pipe through the wall, stitch drill it, put it through the wall and bring the almonds in. Um, in terms of sheathing, I mean, this is day one, he wants to stop, stop the tripping. Um, so we're disconnecting all lighting and we are going to, um, so we're disconnecting all lighting and we're just gonna run the sockets. So we're gonna do an insulation resistance test on the sockets, just to make sure they're all right. Uh, we're gonna connect them, we're checking all the sockets, make sure there's no water ingress, which there is on a couple. So we're, we're getting all that right. Uh, the lighting is gonna get looked at later, but in terms of the sheathing, 
um, it's not going to be earthed. The sheaf's not going to be earthed. They've not done any fly leads other than the main main one from the house they did. They put an earth clamp around it, but other than that, they've not put, used one single gland. They've just used a compression, a compression gland, not an SWA gland. So, and it's really bad. I mean, they've got light. They've got some light fittings here, metal light fittings, right next to the swimming pool that they've, they've uh, I'll put a picture up, you can, you can see it, or I'll show you, that they've basically cut the earths out. Um, well, mate, you got it? Got batteries? I've got a couple. Um, I'm just saying they're cutting the earths out of these lights, so these metal light fittings are not earthed at, down this end. There's two each side of the pole. Um, so you've got this one here, and you've got one down the far end now. So we're just gonna, we're gonna see what's matter with that. If it's, uh, if we can't get an earth to it, we're just gonna disconnect it for now. Um, you know, we're, we're just trying to get it. They need their pool running without it tripping and it takes half the house out. So, um, so we're just trying to improve it, get, get the consuming it outside so they can access it properly without, I mean, that was hard work for me um, and got wet and everything. So this needs to be outside. So we're gonna get that done. That's the main priority. Check the sockets, try and get power onto the sockets and make sure that, and then where we go from now, is down to the customer and how much they want us to get into it. Um, obviously, there's going to be quite a few recommendations um, to, to improve the safety, uh, but then that'll be down to them. So we're going to um, get this balled up um, and crack on while the sun's out. You can see all the water droplets on the ceiling. That It's an IP rated board that's sort of IP, it's not, also oh, whisker bold as well, didn't know whisker did consume units, but yeah, it's got, um, this for a swimming pool pump, um, it's, yeah, the pool's above us, but well, what is, what is this, what is it, it's like twin and a half thrown in it, tangled, into a switch Ugh, and it's just like a bird's nest anyway i'm here to move uh, we're here to sort out some tripping issues um into the main house the rcd trips uh, generally after it rains and stuff but this isn't going to help help matters i mean the bowl might be okay inside but you know you've got things like this joint you've got all these water drops on the top um not really the right entry for these you know especially on the top should at least go in the bottom so anything can be falling in yeah, jake's down the other end down there looking at some ip rated accessories which are not looking like they're very ip so um i need to get all this off um it's going on the other side of the wall and a metal sorrel box um just for an extra bit of protection uh, for a water ingress and stuff and then try and whether we've got to extend or pull hopefully not just push circuits out into the back of the box and fit them in now i mean the switches ideally could do it going in there as well but i'm not really sure we'll do about that yet but the main thing is get the board out because as you just saw to get in here to, to this is not not great I mean that a bit of TNE to a light this is uh, craziness you got all these armors that go out to sockets and lights they're just stuffing gland compression gland into the board the sheaves not even earthed it's not been done here I can pretty much guarantee you it's not been done at the sockets so I don't know I'm going to have to uh, recommend that they overhaul all of that I mean we're checking all the sockets and joints anyway but for water ingress but yeah they should be landing at least banjo in it so we can get the sheaf continue the sheaf around in the garden but yeah 
So, got the bolt off the wall. Ah, disconnected all the turning rods. I think it's all for light switches and stuff like that. So, I think we're just disconnecting the lighting for the moment. Anyway, just getting so oh, sockets running. Ah, oh, it's really not enough room in here. I keep getting these water drops on my head. Um, this is inside that joint. Pen on me. Um, it's inside that joint. This, I really don't know. I think that's a that's a lighting post. I think on the top, which I'll show you in a minute. They've just drilled through the concrete floor and just through a twin and earth through the hole. And these SWAs, I think, go out to other lights. And I assume these lights don't require an earth because that one's not even. Connected, there's no earth in that TNA. That one's just left hanging out, and that one's that one's earthed. Oh, they've earthed a sweater plastic switch. Uh, hmm, and you've got metal fittings upstairs. Uh, ow. Let's try them. We're gonna, these are the sockets the other side. I'm just gonna bang a hole through here through the brickwork. Maybe put a bit of pipe, pipe through, and get some armoured through, and try and put it in a Sorel box. And uh, but um, I'll show you what my plan is in a minute. Okay, so we are as level as we can be. So I put a bit of that pipe in, that waste pipe in there, 40 mil pipe, um, straight through. I've I stitch drilled, stitch drilled the hole because um, I haven't got a core cutter, and uh, I've put some uh, like expanding expanding foam around it to hold it in place. Um, and what I've done is I've fixed this and I've just, I've, I've put a bead of mastic all around the back, all the points where you've got screw holes um, around the entry of the of the, uh, of the 40 mil pipe. And uh, all I'm gonna do now is I've just put a bead of silicon around the outside of the of the box just for, for good measure, really. Um, it shouldn't need this, but basically the the pool um, they do jet washed. Obviously the the slabs above and stuff, and water does come off. But even though this is overhanging, it shouldn't shouldn't go there. But it's just uh, it's it's just good measure, really. Just uh, extra extra protection. Just get the. Get that sealed up. The last thing we want is water getting in to the box, which it's IP rated, so um, the screw holes are the uh, 
and the cable entries are the only weak point so we just seal that up just going to get a bit of get a new bit fresh bit of rag clean that up a little bit more and then that will uh, should look look okay um, blend in with the wall yeah pretty happy with that and get all the armors through here um, and connect everything up this is going to get pulled back through and back through the pipe and the sockets that were on the wall before I've taken them off they're going to go inside up the top here so yeah You need enough you don't need to pull oh, oh this really isn't another one coming enough yeah uh, enough all right that's pretty much all you can have anyway <laughs> yeah it's just a, yeah just in the board Oh, my knees. All right. Okay, so that's that one. I think, I think that is about it. The rest are all lighting that needs need sorting out um, I think that will connect all the sockets up just those yeah. so we've got a, uh, a double socket that's did you take a knock out of that you got it um, got a double socket um, that won't undo so we're going to replace it. Jake's just smashing it apart. Loving life right now. Um, and I have just done an insulation resistance test on the circuit and I've got like point, point 0.2 mega ohms. So I've got an issue, but this did have water in it. So I think, because it goes from up there, there's a socket up by the board. Then it goes to this socket, which is clear. The insulation resistance is greater than 200, clear to there. Connect this one back up, it goes down. So I think this one could be our problem. This has got loads of water in it. Well, it had loads of water in it. Um, so we're going to replace that. I'll split the ends there and I'll, uh, I'll do another insulation test to see if to see if it clears. And maybe I'll weigh them together and see if it clears once I pass that. While well, Jake's preparing the new socket. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that. The bolt's all basically done. Um, consume unit, shall I say? Consume unit's done. So we're just doing insulation tests, so it's all a, a little bit pulled apart at the moment. 
not fully happy with the bold um, consumer unit that was here already, but it, it works. I, if I can make it safe, um, I put a couple of grommets on the bottom. Still got one open one now. And to be honest, it's so low down. You're not gonna get. It's as far as I can get my finger, but I'll put. I'll find a 25 mil anyway. I'll put that in there. Um, sockets are in here. I'm leaving things disconnected that have got electronics. I've got timers on here, so I'm a bit cautious with the uh, voltage. So I'm doing it at 250 to start with. Um, generally, if you've got problems at 250, then you're gonna have problems at 500. So um, I'll wait till they're clear, and then I'll put it up to, two, uh, to 500 and make sure it's clear again. Um, and then we'll continue continue on with the other circuits. But I've got another circuit that's got a fault, which goes up to the barbecue, which is just over there. Um, there's a few double sockets in there, and there's a couple of USB USB sockets, so they could be thrown some issues. Uh, hence why I'm doing it at 250 again, just in case. So I'm going to disconnect probably those two sockets. Um, as you're sure, there might actually be a fridge still plugged in. I have to check that actually. Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good practice, I think. Just do it at 250 to start with. If it's all showing clear, then just whack it up to 500. You know, you're twice your working voltage, um, and then hopefully it'll be clear from there. But let's carry on with the testing. Hopefully that one's clear on the socket. What did you? Uh, you can. Oh, there you go. Okay, just to finish up, um, I've uh, I've tested everything, getting some strange readings, live to neutral, but then there's LEDs on the sockets, um, things like that. Live neutral to earth or CPC, I'm getting uh, what, 180 mega ohms. So it creep creeps up, so I think that that should be fine. Um, did notice with this timer though, this time sort, the actual timer doesn't work. The output doesn't work. It was not putting anything out. And I've noticed that previously this flex, which goes to a filter, I think, for the for the swimming pool, um, was actually hardwired into the back of the output. So it's not actually few. Sorry? Is that any colour? Colour? It's just a plug top, a white plug top. It doesn't matter, it's a plug top. There'll probably only be a white one in there. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, it's not actually fused down and it's on a 20 amp breaker with these sockets. So um, I've taken it out. I'm gonna put a plug top, 13 amp plug top on it. Um, I've hardwired this in, disconnecting the timer. So that's just used as a single socket for now. Um, put a plug top on this so I can plug it, plug it in and out. Uh, failing now, I'd have to put it in the breaker on a six amp. But I'm going to try and get it unplugged up first. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready to put the cover on and we're done for the day. We've been doing it all day. Um, we've got the sockets on. They've got problems with the lights and we're not even looking at the lights today. I spent most of the time moving this board um, and trying to get that sorted out. So priority was getting the swimming pool running. Um, so that's hopefully, fingers crossed, well, this pump doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Um, but we'll see, see if that comes on, we'll plug it in. And uh, hopefully that won't trip anymore on that side and then they'll get us back to work on lights a bit later on. So yeah, hopefully uh, we're getting a good reading. The, the previous electrician actually brought, brought the earth from the house. It's a PME system. They brought the earth from the house, connected it into here, and put an earth rod in and connected it into here. Um, obviously, we shouldn't be doing that. So I've disconnected the earth in here. I've made it, taped it up, blocked it. I've done everything to make it safe to separate it from uh, the earth down here. So at least it protects the armoured cable from the house to here. And then um, uh, I've got a rod the earth rods here, which is coming into here, and I'm getting back, I'm getting 45 ohms resistance on the ZE, so, um, or the ZS, depends the way you look at it. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's 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 good enough for, for a TT, uh, essentially a TT system, which can go up to about 200, so 
Yeah, that's all good. So I'm getting consistent readings on that around the sockets. Uh, plug top on here, cover on, shut the cover. Hopefully they can get the pool running. And then, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. See you next one.